This tutorial covers lead lag programming of the Cadence Dynaplane, Dynaforce, and Advantage series. Before beginning the programming process, ensure that a 3-wire daisy chain exists on terminals 15 through 17 on each boiler to be placed in lead lag. The wires are color-coded as they are polarity sensitive. This is what we refer to as the home screen. Pressing the Honeywell Sola icon provides boiler operational parameters. To configure the lead lag parameters, you will need to be logged in before proceeding. Press the Configure button to access the Configuration menu. Press System Identification and Access. Scroll down to view MV1 and MV2 Modbus address. Both of these addresses must be identical on an individual boiler. The master boiler would be assigned an address of 1, slave boilers are assigned in sequential order. Press the Back button to return to the Configuration menu. Scroll down and select Lead Lag Slave Configuration. Slave Enable must be set to Enable Slave for built-in lead lag master for all boilers to be placed in lead lag sequence. The third-party selection is catered for Cinex Control's ModSync Building Management front end. Press the Back button to return to the Configuration menu. The following steps are only performed on the master boiler. Select Lead Lag Master Configuration. Master Enable must be set to Enable. Pressing the CH setpoint parameter allows one to adjust the setpoint. This parameter can be altered at the user level. To change the setpoint, use the up and down arrows or the keypad. Pressing OK will confirm the setpoint desired. Press the Advanced Settings button. In the event the S5 system sensor fails, the lead lag algorithm will revert to the lead outlet sensor for modulation. The on and off hysteresis governs when the boiler plant is activated, which is in turn linked to the modulation rate of the appliances. Pressing the right arrow provides central heat setpoint parameter adjustment. Verify the CH demand switch is set to STAT terminal. The STAT terminal selection allows for the use of the local remote switch inside the control box. To use the 4 to 20 mA or 0 to 10 volt DC signal provided by building control panel to vary setpoint, Select CH setpoint source and select S2 J8 pin 6 4 to 20 MA. This selection also applies for a 0 to 10 volt DC setup as KMUS includes a 0 to 10 volt DC to 4 to 20 milliamp converter on appliances ordered as such. Pressing the right arrow provides domestic hot water parameter adjustments. Pressing the right arrow provides frost protection parameter adjustments. Frost protection is a standard feature on all KMUS boilers. In the event an outdoor sensor is connected to boiler 2 and the outdoor temperature is below the outdoor set point shown on screen, pump B, which is the boiler pump, will be activated. Pressing the right arrow provides outdoor reset parameter adjustments. To set an outdoor reset curve, one will need to install an outdoor sensor on boiler 2. Select Enable. Adjust the temperatures as required. The minimum boiler water temperature parameter forces the boiler into operation if the modulation sensor drops below this temperature. Pressing show line provides an illustration of the outdoor reset curve. Pressing the right arrow provides warm weather shutdown parameter adjustment. Pressing the right arrow provides rotation schedule adjustment. From KMIS, the boilers are designed to rotate every hour based on an equalized burner runtime algorithm. To rotate based on a real-time schedule, you will need to select sequence order for lead selection method and lag selection method. The rotation can be specified in various time intervals. Pressing the right arrow provides rate allocation parameter adjustment. The base load rate is the firing rate that must be achieved across all available boilers before being allowed to ramp up to meet heating demand. This is factory set to 80% to reduce excessive cycling during shoulder months. Pressing the right arrow provides add stage parameter adjustment. This screen represents the parameters that need to be satisfied before an additional boiler is allowed to proceed to ignition. KMIS dictates that if the system temperature is not within 5 degrees Fahrenheit after 2 minutes of firing the previous boiler, an additional boiler will be activated. Pressing the right arrow provides drop stage parameter adjustment, which is programmed in the same manner as the add stage parameters. Press the home button and then press the view lead lag button. If programming of all boilers has been completed successfully, 
you will see all available boilers on the master display. 